Hi everyone. Say good evening, Teddy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's a big hand. Right, what are we reading tonight? Zigbee camps out. Right, and we're, because we're reading Zigbee camps out. We're in our tent in the garden. It's a tiny, whiny little tent and it's a bit of a squash. All right, come on, you're going to have to turn around so that we can see. Keep coming back, shuffle back. There we go. High above mud water creek, Zigbee lives in his tree house. One morning, an oddly shaped parcel arrived from his aunt Zandra. Zigby tore off the wrapping paper. Fantastic, he shouted. Just what I always wanted, he hurried off to show his friends, Mac Mia and Betty Bird. <laughs> Mac Mayer sniffed the lumpy shape. It is a sausage, he asked, hopefully. Don't be silly, laughed Zigby, with a tent. Now we can all go camping. Mac Mayer rolled head, rolled head. <laughs> rolled head over heels. He'd Never been camping before, neither. And Betty, neither had. Who? Betty. Betty, who hoped it wasn't too dangerous. Hoped. No pressure. No. no. <laughs> big yawn in the middle of it. Go on. The friends set out on the big adventure. Sigby. Zigbee picked up a swissy stick in case they met anything frightening. Where are you? We going ask Ella the elephant. We're going to camp in the darkest jungle, said Zigbee. Better take a watermelon. Adv advised. Advised Ella camping is hungry work. <laughs> Follow me, said Zigby, wishing. Swishing. As a wishing. Mm -hmm. Swishing his stick through the air. They climbed to a mountain, way across the swamps, and fought through, through Tangled Forest. Finally, Zigbee said they had reached the darkest jungle. Oh. Let's camp here. Here, Zigbee. Suggested. The tent proved a... Rather a puzzle. There were so many poles and pegs it... A bit wonky, but it will do," said Macmillan. The three friends squashed into the tent. This is fun," said Zigby. "When do you? When do we eat?" asked Betty. Macmillan thought that they should make a fire first. You two wait here while I go and fetch some wood, he said. Zigby and Betty waited in the tent for Macmillan to come. Back the sun sank slowly below the tree sandy jungle. Begin to get dark outside, the forest was alive with. Begin. Strange sounds, Betty moved closer to Zigbee. What's that noise? He whispered. What noise? asked Zigbee. That's something lurking in the dark. Noise, said Betty. Zigbee listened and 
He heard it too nervously. He felt for his swissy stick. Betty moved even closer to Zigbee. What's that noise? He whispered. What noise? asked Zigbee. That something waiting to pounce noise and Betty Zigbee listened. And he headed to a whistling, scuffling sound coming near. Suddenly, Betty clung onto Zigbee. It's right outside, he said. I can hear ya. it dribbling and snailing. I hear too. it too, said Zigbee, and there it is. A tall shadow loomed over them. Bravely, Zigbee <laughs> pulled it through the side of the tent with his swishy stick. Ow, said a voice. It's Mac Miller, cried Zigbee. They went outside and found Mac Miller. Sleeping. The last mouthful of watermelon. Did I scare you? Did I scare you? Did God Mac Miller? Is he angry or happy? No, I don't think so. For playing tricks on them, Mac Miller had to stay outside and build the fire all by himself um, and you're not coming in and <laughs> until it's <laughs> he's got the hiccups people that's why he keeps stopping and stuttering finished? and you're not coming in until it's finished said Zigby closing the tent flap Magme put a last stick on the fire when then, then he pricked up his ears from somewhere in the forest came a sound like distant thunder. It was coming towards them, growling louder no. and loud growing. Growing louder and louder. It made the ground shake and the trees tremble. <laughs> Go on. <sighs> no, also very tired as well. We can sleep in the tent tonight when we're finished. Mahmia soaked the tent. Let me in, let me in. He begged. 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 There's something coming, Mahmia. We know it's you. Stop playing games, answered Zigby. No, don't leave me out. Here, please, while way on Mac Mia. Can't you hear it? Zigbee and Betty listened. The rumbling, fluttering noise was very close now. <laughs> Betty opened the tent flap and Mac Mia dived inside. The three friends huddled together in the dark hardly. Starting to breathe. Bump, bump, bump came the noise outside. Suddenly the tent flop was pulled back by something long and snake like. Hello. <laughs> Hello, said a friendly face. I just came to say. Good night, are you having a good time? No, we're cold and hungry, said Betty, and my Mia ate all the watermelon. Well, why don't you come home? That's Ella, I've just been making some supper. After the big supper, they Ever eaten, everyone was ready for bed. What about your tent? asked Ella. It seems a shame to pack it away. 
I know just the place for it, said Zigbee. <laughs> Good night, Zigbee, sweet dreams. The end. Good night. Good night, good night, good night. Good night.